वेलकम टू नॉलेज हब यू के दीज ब्यूटिफुल लैंडस्केप यू कैन सी इट ऑल्सो कॉल्ड कोल्ड डिजर्ट लैंडस्केप ऑफ इंडिया इट्स सिचुएटेड इन हिमालय इट एंड स्ट्रेच फ्रॉम डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ लद्दाख फॉर्मरली पार्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर स्टेट इन नॉर्थ टू किन्नौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश इंडिया इन दिस द रीजन कंस्टिट्यूट अ कोल्ड डिजर्ट बायो में विथ हॉश क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन व्हिच कैन बी एट्रिब्यूटेड टू फैक्टर्स वन इट्स लोकेशन लीवर साइड ऑफ हिमालय व्हिच मेक्स इट रेन शेडो जोन इन एक्सेसिबल टू एनुअल साउथ ईस्टर्न मानसून विंड दैट स्वेप द रेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री second land escape is situated on very high elevation ranging from 3000 to 5000 meter that add to be coldness in its environment further a huge seasonal variation is seen in the climatic condition ranging from short and dry summer with harsh sunlight temperature reaching up to 36 degree centigrade during the day on the in summer on the other hand windy and freezing winter temperature goes down up to minus 32 degree in at night further blizzard snow storm and avalanches are common the soil is not of very fertile and the climatic condition allow very short growing seasons making it a bear landscape and also water resources are minimal and comprises glaciers fed streams these physiographic peculiarities and ensuing harsh climatic condition have led to the emergence of unique cold desert ecosystem as well as a culture of the community which unlikely any other part in the world these are the factor which make harsh for any human civilization or communities to stay or inhabit in this area within this one geographic unit lie many settlement scattered across the landscape the settlement are small isolated as sparsely populated and their planning a testament to the harsh terrain and environment the population belongs predominantly to the indo-mongoloid or tibetan race with some part of the western ladakh occupied by the dard who are an intermediaries of ladakhis and baltis of the neighboring baltistan in pakistan the majority of inhabitants display a distinct buddhist culture that is similar to the one of tibetan autonomous region the people are simple folk used to be hard labor with color costume myth belief and convention that contrast with the barren and harsh environment and form the cultural highlight of this region however islam and hinduism and christianity have a sizable presence over here all buddhist settlement in the property are associated with buddhist monasteries known as gumpas with a trademark prayer flag fluttering on the top these shrines are the center of the people cultural life and have influenced their religious belief for centuries the architecture of the region is an in- interesting amalgamation of indian and tibetan influence and also monastic 
building reflect a deeply Buddhist approach. The natural heritage of the property is equally, if not more, unique. As discussed, the region constitute a cold desert biome with harsh climatic conditions. It display an extreme it display an extremely fragile ecosystem that shows a complex relationship of the climate and geomorphological process and also it exhibit very less but highly endemic diversity many rare and special varieties of flora and fauna are found here so much so that many national park and wildlife reserve have been declared here by the government for their protection. This landscape has been declared as a cold desert by the 16th Biosphere Reserve of India in 2009. The Trans Himalayan cold desert landscape is a very similar property, but again, much larger in scale and demonstrate confluence of two national culture that is Indian and Tibetan which in itself is a unique manifestation. In conclusion I can say this comparison underlines the fact that there are no properties similar to the cold desert. Cultural landscape of India in a scale condition and human response. There are so many cold deserts around the world, but this is unique in its own way. I hope you will like this video and information. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.